Hello Underwater friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to color grade your footage with GoPro using DaVinci Resolve. First of all, the footage has been taken with log mode, so I have more dynamic range and it's easier to correct my footage. There is a video up there to explain the settings I'm using for the GoPro. You can check it and then come back to the video. Okay, first we have to go on the color page, quite logic, because we want to do color correction. I put three sequences here, so they're all in my timeline, as you can see here, and then I go on the color page. So on the color page, we pick the first one. So this one is at the surface, but it's like if it was the land shot so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go on we have nodes and we're gonna take off the effect and actually I'm gonna do more nodes why because I want to do the correction using different nodes one will be for the contrast the other one will be for the white balance and then so forth okay so let's start by doing more nodes by doing shift s and now like this I have more nodes so I can correct it one at a time to rename the node I can go like this node level and for this one i can call it contrast so what we're going to do on this one we're going to try to get the parade here so here you can see you have different options on how to see your image you have the vector scope you have the histogram more like photographer and then for us what we use what i use the most is parade here when you go to the top it's the brightest colors and when you go to the bottom it's the darkest so here what we see is that everything is more on the top side so i can work on here on the offset and bring it down offset will bring everything down and you can see it's a little bit darker and i may do it a little bit more then because we want to work on the contrast i can work on contrast and you see it's widening the colors here. So now in a few clicks, I have way more contrast. Then on the second node, I can correct, for example, the white balance. So white balance. On this one, what do we see? There is a little bit too much blue and probably green as well, and probably not enough of the red. But first we're gonna work on the temperature a little bit so we can make it a little bit warmer and you see that blue went down a little bit and then I can still on the offset bring this down a little bit and bring the green down as well. If you click here you can see the changes that you put with this node. Okay now we're already better so on node 3 we can work on the color so we can click here and do color Okay, now we can work on the color. So we're gonna click on this, now it's selected. So I'm gonna work on this node and I'm gonna do color boost a little bit. Okay, let's see it without and with. So it's a little bit extra color. And now maybe we can still go back to this one, the white balance and probably add a little bit red here. Here we go. So now we have an image that is much better than it was. So if we take off the boost of the color, we take off the white balance, we take off the contrast, and this is how it was before. So one color, ch one change, two changes, and the final one. For this one, the top part is close to the one, so we don't need to change much. And same thing for the bottom, it's close to the zero. But if we had issues, we could change lift, gamma, and gain. So the lift actually is the dark part the darkest part, the gamma is the mid-tone and the gain is the highlight. Okay, let's go on the second image. Once again, it's a little bit too bright, too much green and blue and probably not enough red. So let's do our nodes first. We don't need to rename them every time. You can do it, but you don't need to. So this time again, we go on contrast. So we're gonna try to widen this one. First, we adjust the colors and then this time we can go, for example, here down with the dark and up with the highlights and down a little bit more. And you can see already in a few clicks, it's much better. I didn't use the contrast this time, but I widened this one anyways by bringing the low lights and hiring the highlights. The second one, we can now change a little bit more. So I can do the temperature, make it a little bit warmer. And then I can bring down the green a little because it's probably a little bit too much. Here we go. And maybe the red as well. Okay. So now you see in a few corrections, you get something much better than it was before. 
Okay. Correction number three, it might be a little bit more difficult because this one is deeper, so everything looks blue. And you can see here the difference between the red that is almost not here, the blue that is very, very high. So shift S a few times. The first one, we're gonna try to put them all together and make the contrast better. So we can bring down the green, bring down the blue and bring up the red. So you see right here already, it's like first color balance kind of. And now we can get the contrast up. Okay, much better. And then we can bring down here a little bit because nothing is very close to the blacks. And probably bring here the red a little bit higher. I changed it all on the same node. It's no big deal, but it's better, especially if you want to go back to the correction, to have everything on different nodes. Okay, because this one, it's all corrected on one single node. Then one of the things I can do is I can use the color warper because for example here, the subjects, the fish and everything, even the coral seems okay, but the blue is not very natural. It looks a little bit reddish. So what you can do here, you can use the color warper. Here, what I want to do is add more points to make it more precise. And then I can pick one place and I'm gonna bring it where I want. So you see, it's changing only the color of the background. And now I have something much better. You see, it didn't affect the rest. The fish is still the same yellow. Everything is the same, but the background is better. So you see, in one minute, less than that, I get everything to be much, much better. Of course, there are more corrections that we can do and we can do it in the next episode. But right now, I wanted to show you how easy it was to get basic color back to the image in just a few clicks. This one, maybe we can do it a little bit brighter. Here we go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't hesitate to put a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. And if you want to come see us in Bali, don't hesitate. We offer great diving and you can see many, many critters and also nice corals and everything. Bye bye. Happy bubbles.